Hey guys, we're at the Clarion Hotel gym show, and I can't wait to show this to you guys. This is one of the few gym shows in Denver, Colorado, that runs this year, and uh, it's right here behind me at the Clarion Hotel, and it's gonna be inside the hotel as well as tents on the outside, so let's go check it out. Welcome, you're at New Era today, as we are from Grass Valley, California. You're uh, seeing our collection we've had. We are at the Clarion Hotel in Denver, Colorado. We are gem and mineral dealers. They are here for facet rough as well as quality minerals. Today we'd like to show you a little bit of our mineral collection. Um, our crystal of choice is Tanzanian Tanzanite. This gemstone is known as zoocyte. Zoocyte is the variation of crystal with Tanzanite being the color. Uh, zoocyte crystals can come in any range of color, however, the tanzanites are known for their being blue to purple and their wonderful luster. A little crack in the middle. It's numb. So, tanzanites have a natural dry cave and tanzanite. If you see the, like, the crystal itself, mm -hmm. the crack is inside. So, this is like, that's how tanzanite is. Look at this one, it has even more cracks. Are actually from this one. This? We're looking at some things oh, yeah. tonight, guys. Started, like they were mining it, and then Same price with this one. Well, probably like 15000 or like 12000 These are expensive, but these are cool. But again, um, if you want a few, it will be completely different, like, talk. So I'm just giving you prices for individuals, so. This is before and after. This is what kind of looks like out of the ground. And the deep blue, the sapphire blue color that you see is the after heat treated. Yeah. Do you want to know if it's natural? Look for green. Like, for example, this blue is natural. If you hit this, the green will go away and this will go away. It's just going to be oh. like electric blue like this. So. Sometimes it's not much noticeable, like with this one, this is natural, but if you try to spin okay. it a little bit, yeah. you will see slight green color, and here you yep. go. So this is natural, that's why you might be surprised why this costs like three, four times bigger, like more than another one, so, because it's natural, there's yeah. not much of a... But pink, you can call them as a albino, the only pink color that will stay, because uh, I'm not sure what's the chemistry about, like behind that, but... Uh, it's like in some of the elements. Yeah. So no matter what you're gonna do with pink, it's gonna stay pink. And there's less than one percent of tanzanite that's pink. And it, sometimes it goes towards like orange. Like uh, wow. let me show you. Like this. Well, like yellow orange. Ah, okay. See, it's like yellow. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's still pink. Wow. This is Can a, you turn it again? Like wow. And then you get it after chocolate. Yeah. That's beautiful um, though. <laughs> Can you, uh, Tanzania has three colors or two colors usually when you spin it? Yeah, three So it depends, yeah, green, red, yellow, and blue depends on how the light refracts on Yes. So it's depending on the axis, the way the light is Okay. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. So if you spin in like one side, that side, and yeah. this side, and it changes color significantly. Like, that's, oh my gosh! I know yeah. that's amazing. Um, so yep, here we go. And from the bottom, sometimes they, like this one is not looking that great, but yeah, sometimes from the bottom they look different. Let me put it back. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Can you show Beautiful. him your Instagram what you're doing with it? Sure. Yeah. With the Leo Pros? No, just like cool Instagram show your views. Yeah. So he knows magic about Tanzan. Look at that. Look Let's at the color. This. Wow. She's blue. Oh That's my awesome. gosh. That's like a really nice blue. Oh yeah. That's amazing. The tri-color ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few different ones here. 
so this is a really interesting one. <laughs> so it goes to the, it has like a peach, yellow, orange. Oh my gosh. Those orange colors are unusual too. So because this one has like a, the axes are kind of combined a bit. So you get the yellow on one side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Blue. Beautiful. Yeah, and then the orange is like one of my favorites because it's less common, like that, like sunset orange. Do you have that piece here? This piece I don't. This actually it's sold. sold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like you a, can find something yeah. like that. Oh yeah, yeah. We could find you a piece like that. Yeah. I'm just out of curiosity. You know, I'm not. Uh, my my friend is the one that's gonna make a purchase most likely. I'm, I'm looking like that. that is really wow. nice tabby. So it's like the blue to the peach to the yellow. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, and it's interesting because depending on how it grows, you'll see the different, see even mm -hmm. that angle will give you like the greenish yes. yellow. That's so crazy. In every direction. <laughs> That's just so cool. No, any other crystal does that? Or is it so the actually there are a few others, but okay. the pleochrosin and tanzanite is, is most prominent with the multicolor. Sometimes yeah. formally we'll do it, but we'll call it a dichroism because it's only like two colors. So that was really cool talking to uh, that nice lady and, and all those people there at that booth about tanzanite and all the minerals they offer. They have some really high quality specimens. And so that was awesome to see and talk to them for quite some time. And now we're gonna check out some other stuff. There's more to this show than just that main building in the uh, hotel, in the Clarion Hotel. We're gonna go into the tent right here at the uh, JGM Expo, which I'm gonna show you guys right here. Bada boom, bada bing. And we're gonna go inside there. It's a big tent. You got an air conditioning and stuff, so look at that. Mango quartz, you can tell with the hollow site tips, the mango right there. And look at the beautiful back. Oh my gosh. What can you tell us about where it's from? This is from Santander Mine. Santander. This is, yeah, this Muzo. is. No, no, no. No. This is from La Belleza District. Um, the area, exactly the area, they call. Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. But it's in Boy Boyaca. Boyaca. No, it's Santander. Santander. You see, guys, you see this, this double uh, termination, just like a, like a starburst. Beautiful, beautiful. Like a flower or a starburst, or however you want to describe it. Show them, show them that flower there. And that oh, that's right. You have another one right here, huh? You have, you have, oh, oh wow. Not. Look at that, guys. Yeah. That is a, a isolated cluster like a, like a flower cluster on this bigger cluster on this bigger matrix now this is muzo emerald yeah muzo this emerald. Is muzo no, emerald. we have people in mind here we have muzo we have chibor uh we have now an uh, important production the best emerald in the world uh, by far yeah the sizes also yeah what do you think of the sizes we have a uh, big sizes and usually in other parts of the world this is all cut, faceted, polished by you guys. Yes, yes, beautiful. And this is what jewelry, the Colombian designs. Oh, that ring is, is, oh my gosh. The ring is just gorgeous. Wow. So prices wise, on average, how much would a ring go for here? With the, with the Muzo Ammo. Like, yeah. Okay, for example, a simple one. Yeah. Is here. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. This is. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Welcome. Fine, thank you. On the, on the cuts. Wow. Oh, they took the end. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Could you, do you mind if you pick it up and maybe uh, show some, uh, the bottom side of it? Beautiful. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. How much is that one? Just gorgeous. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> is, uh, so price-wise? 50, 50 carats. 50 carats. 50.39 times mm. 350 per carat. So for anybody that wants to know the price, there's the price. It's by carat. By carat. 350 a carat. So you can imagine something this beautiful, this big, this rare, you know, it's not going to be... Um, it's a collectible. Yes, absolutely. It's not going to be cheap, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Let me show you another one here. Show me another one, absolutely. This here. Oh, wow. 
the color that the, oh the, the brilliant green it's like a very saturated green color on this emerald very very beautiful very very colorful very colorful I, I would love to see that in, as a uh, okay. pendant or maybe even a ring. That, that'd be too big for a rock, for a ring. But my my first protagonism this time is my trapiches. You what see? is this? This is trapiche. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Trapiche. Trapiche is a cluster. Mm -hmm. Six crystals around one crystal in the middle. Yeah. So they call the crystal like 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 fla like just slice it, right? A slice yeah. right like this you can see the sample here very perfect yeah there you go this is one crystal yeah scoring like this okay, like that nice this is the top of the crystal this oh, side like this beautiful. Is the top. So we cut one, two, and three slices from that crystal. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. And this case, the crystal give us four slices. Oh wow! Look at the like little flowers. Like little flowers. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're leaving that tent now. Um, you guys know I love the Colombian stuff. I love Colombian minerals, Colombian quartz. And uh, I just saw that booth. Now he's not typically the guy that I, I get my product from, but um, I thought it'd be cool just to show that to you guys. So the emeralds and stuff. Um, I'm lost. <laughs> One second. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the remainder of the Clarion Hotel gym show. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, we first started off by going inside the actual hotel in the front lobby where they had that one store. And then we go inside here, the tent. And now you have these outside tents, which I want to show you guys. It kind of looks like they have more here than they did in the previous years. And again, you're going to find a lot of stuff here that you see, you know, in uh, places like Tucson as well. Because many of the, uh, the vendors here are the same. But I like to walk around here and meet people. And uh, I always find new stuff here as well. Like, you see the same stuff, but you also see new stuff. So I want to just do a quick little walk around here and see, what, uh, see what's here. Uh, we have more Uruguayan amethyst. Uruguayan amethyst is by far the uh, the prettiest of the bunch, <laughs> the most color saturated anyway, the, the deepest purples. So right here, you have some Brazilian. There's a lot of Brazilian minerals here, and I've shown this to you guys many many times. But look at this. So this booth, they have a lot of big stuff here. Check it out, guys. I don't know how well you can see this because it's kind of dark, but you see the big pieces right here. So you see this stuff in Tucson as well. And I just, you know, this is always cool to look at because these are just some massive, massive points. Here we go. Look at this big, big old quartz point in the back. And this is all from Brazil, of course. Look at this. Crazy, crazy. That's, uh, that's easily like 20, 30 tons. I don't know. They got the weight right there, but... On, on, on the sticker, let's see. Uh, it looks like, here we go. I can't get 1,282 kg. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? So, right here you have a lot of the bigger, the bigger quartz points. You can see these as well, all from Brazil. Gorgeous stuff. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Thank you. Big, big points. Big clusters. <laughs> really cool to look at. Some more points right here. Some more um, points on stands, on these iron stands. They have a design. They have this position suit. So Perfect for like a photograph. <laughs> Some more over here. Some more big points. Look at that. Amazing. Huge, 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 huge. Guys, we're gonna walk in here. 
and uh, we're gonna check this out. Look at these big towers. And they're always on these iron stands. This is the uh, Brazilian vendor with all the bigger, more polished, cool stuff. Ooh. We're gonna start right over here. I wanna show you guys with this stuff first. I'm really impressed with how they make these swords. <laughs> how they make these like head head figurines. That's related quartz. Um, like a skull, kind of like a Spartan thing, if you will. These are skulls, and then you have the swords made of quartz. <laughs> these are some really cool celestial, celestial uh, smokies. We got some awesome stuff here. Gorgeous. Man. Look at that. The triple. And the citrine. They got the light on the citrine. Show off the color. This one is sold. Uh, it looks like somebody bought that, so they covered it up. I wonder why they have this really nice case for this one quartz. Seems kind of peculiar. Must be something special about that piece. This one is sold too, guys. See that? Now, uh, price for this, I would not know. It always, it always goes by weight, but you know, just eyeballing it, probably 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50,000. Oh, definitely up there. If for anybody that's curious about the price. And more skulls. Look at that. It's on hold. Gorgeous. Look at that, guys. This guy, this piece is just sold right here. Look at that. He's wrapping it up right now for uh, uh, a couple of guys that just bought it. Amazing. Look at that. See, guys, he's uh, forklifting it out of here. Somebody got a good one. <laughs> Man. Look at that. Adjusting it. Make sure it doesn't fall. It's wild. Somebody bought something like that. So, yeah, yeah, somebody got something huge, all right, that's for sure. And this is how they uh, ship them. This is how they pack them up and ship them right here. They actually build, build um, like a wooden uh, enclosure on top of a pallet. It is absolutely crazy. Look at that. Somebody got some really good stuff, man, let me tell you. They're, they're cutting this wood right here. And they're building it. <laughs> That's awesome. And they're going to ship this out to uh, the uh, person that bought it. So yeah, that's how they ship these things. <laughs> there he is. I wanted to show that to you guys. In case anybody was wondering how they ship these huge, huge, massive pieces, this is how they do it. 